Welcome to the information and orientation video for the Health Services Management and Healthcare Management Programs here at IRSC. I'm Dr. Ann Eldropchek, the Program Director, and welcome on board. A lot of times students ask, what are my career options with these degrees? And really, as you can see by this picture, the sky's the limit. I would say the majority of our students work with healthcare providers, which would be in a hospital setting or with a single or multiple doctor office. But we've had students work in sales, with grants management, in the insurance segment, and the supplier segment. Supplier would be durable home goods, and they would need a manager to run that. You also could work in the nonprofit segment, which would be Visiting Nurses Association or the American Red Cross. You might also be interested in the government segment, and that would be with our local health departments. Or what about a pharmacy rep or a representative for a medical equipment company, such as the Da Vinci? What ideas do you have? Which segments would you like to work in? The sky's the limit. I guess one way to think about our career choice is that we are the business side of healthcare as opposed to the clinical side. Career forecasting. Well, Florida is really one of the top five in the nation for healthcare placements. We currently have a 39% growth rate in our hospitals and a 26% growth rate with other healthcare providers. The median pay is about $47 an hour, and the typical entry level education is bachelor's level. The job outlook for the next 10 years looks great. There's about a 20% faster than average growth rate. Students typically ask, what will my classes be like? Well, we have classes in person, blended, and online. So you will need a computer and laptop. Our bachelor's level classes are majority online or blended and meet in the evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Generally, three to four times a semester for a blended class. Another exciting development is we've been working very hard to make our BS classes what we consider OER, Open Educational Resource. In other words, no textbooks. So this is a tremendous saving for you. Now let's take a look at the actual curriculums. The Associate of Science degree is a 60 hour program. And I wanna point out the classes on the left that have a red check mark by them. These classes are considered the technical core in other words, you take these classes in your AS program, and they also will count toward your bachelor's degree. In fact, they are a requirement for entry into the bachelor's program. The Bachelor's of Science program is a 42-hour program and can typically be completed in four semesters. Note that the capstone uh, course at the very end is a six credit hour class and a ge is generally completed as a standalone class. We have a lot of professional development service learning opportunities. I want to point out the, the picture on the left. These five competencies, communication, leadership, professionalism, the healthcare environment, and business skills, represent the gold standard in our field. To work in healthcare coast to coast, you really have to have these five skills. So, as a result, we really focus on them. Each semester, we ask students to submit an experience that they've had in each of these five competencies and the lessons learned from that experience. At the end of each semester, we tally the results and we generate a PDSL report. Now, what is interesting about this report is students then can go back and look at how their fellow students exercised each of these five competencies. We've created a video, uh, a how-to, if you will, if you would like some more information on PDSLs, and you could follow this uh, YouTube site. We also have a program uniform, and this is really in keeping with the gold standard in the field. You can't walk into any healthcare uh, facility today without seeing professionals in uniform and with a name tag. So for us, it's dress khaki pants, and a polo shirt, a dark green polo shirt. And as you can tell by the picture in the upper right corner, we do have the name of the program on it. These polo shirts are available at any bookstore on any campus for 
and your uh, student ID and name tag must be present at all times. We also believe strongly in extracurricular opportunities. We have the Student Healthcare Network, which is the official student club of our program, and it allows a lot of networking opportunities with regional healthcare providers. We also partner with the South Florida Healthcare Executive Forum on case competitions and scholarships. There are periodic study abroad opportunities, and this is for the HSA 4110 class, the, the competency class. We've been to Ireland and we are currently exploring Switzerland. I also want to point out the IRSC Career and Transfer Services. There's wonderful opportunities here that will help you create uh, your resume, set up a LinkedIn account, and prepare for interviews. And then finally, we have a lot of special events like World Cafes or Roundtables and the ongoing healthcare professional training series. All of these are uh, extracurricular, co-curricular activities to benefit you. So we appreciate your interest in the program and now invite you to follow these easy steps. First and foremost, talk to an advisor. They will help look at your past experience and chart a course, a guided pathway for which curriculum to take. Complete an application and then launch a rewarding career. Please be sure to complete the information orientation form to formally record your review of this material. See the link associated with this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact me, Dr. Ann Dropchuk. I'm the program director and you can reach me at adropcheck at irsc.edu. And thank you so much. We look forward to having you in the program.